Okay, this video may seem random, weird, and like far-fetched wishful thinking, because it is. This is supposed to just be a fun video where I express a random, likely never to happen movie idea that would be awesome and that I would love to see. And today that movie is a David Fincher directed reboot of the 1998 Scream ripoff, Urban Legend. That sounds wild, but bear with me. Lately, prestigious, respected filmmakers have been involving themselves in the horror genre, seeing its value as an artistic and therapeutic way to tap into social issues and everyday anxieties. And many highbrow filmmakers are resurrecting iconic horror properties. Luca Guadagnino, who received Academy Award nominations for his film Call Me By Your Name, recently created his own unique vision of Dario Argento's cult 70s horror film Suspiria, and it was magnificent. Jordan Peele and Nia DaCosta are bringing their voices to the 90s slasher staple Candyman, so wouldn't it be interesting to have the incredibly respected, skillful director David Fincher, who directed Gone Girl, Seven, Zodiac, Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, Fight Club, and The Social Network, take on a known horror property? Most of his movies are adaptations anyway, so it's not like he creates original films. He just makes them really freaking good. And out of all the horror properties, I think probably the one most suitable for David Fincher is Urban Legend. Yeah, if we're looking at the actual 1998 movie where a killer bases his college campus murders off of popular urban legends, the execution of the material is beneath him. But the concept is so great, and who better to give it the quality it deserves than David Fincher? Look, he made Seven, a movie about a killer who bases his murders off the seven deadly sins. Similar. And he made a movie based around college students at a college campus with the social network. Similar. And he made Zodiac. He would be perfect to bring this property that darker, moodier, more stylistic, more layered, more intellectual edge. Whether it be a movie, which I prefer, or a series like the one he produced, Mindhunter, it would be sick. He could get any actor he wanted for the project, so I'm gonna do some casting. And I don't think it should be a straight up remake of the 1998 movie and should have new characters, so I'm not gonna be casting them based off the roles of the original. I'm just gonna use who I'd love to see in a David Fincher urban legend movie. But I'd also love to see these actors in anything, so don't mind me constantly kissing their bums. Okay, Zendaya as the final girl. I name drop her all the time, but that's because I want to see her in everything. She brings such an energy and has such a screen presence and is so likable. I'd love to see her in something darker, something horror, and something David Fincher. It'd be exciting. Katherine Langford from 13 Reasons Why and Knives Out as Zendaya's best friend and roommate. Hallie Bailey, who is set to play Ariel in the live-action Little Mermaid, as another friend in the group. Nick Robinson as the male lead. Ashton Sanders as his best friend. Jack Dylan Grazer in the mix as well. David Fincher alum Jake Gyllenhaal as the dean. Tony Collette as campus security, kicking butt. And David Fincher alum Andrew Garfield as campus security assistant. That would be the greatest cast of anything ever. So an urban legend reboot is actually in development to be directed by Colin Minihan, who directed What Keeps You Alive and Grave Encounters. So let's hope it'll be good, but let's be real, it won't be David Fincher good.